G'day folks, just um, yeah, welcome to uh, Farm IQ webinar this evening. Um, we're just uh, wait, we'll wait a couple of minutes just to get everyone on board. We've got some good numbers coming in now. So no, thank you very much for um, making the effort to come along. As you can see here, the webinar screen you'll have on your um, screen there. So as you as we go, just feel free to pop in any questions in the chat or the Q&A column that you can see there on your um, on the screen. And hopefully you can all see my screen here. So what the um, yeah, what the emphasis is tonight is, is to go through converting data into dollars and have a look at some of the, the integrations that Farm IQ has within on the system. And so we have two presenters here today. There's myself. Coming through. I'm the Upper South Island Business Manager, so Craig Trotter, and um, I've been at Farm IQ for um, just coming up 18 months now. So I service the Upper South Island based in Geraldine and um, work um, pretty much there north. Um, so um, if, if anyone's in that area and keen to catch up at some stage, there's my details through there. Um, feel free to get in touch and look forward to uh, yeah, could catch up from there. And I'll let Inter Lou introduce herself. Yes, hi everyone. Uh, good evening. Uh, my name's Lou and I'm one of the account managers here at Farm IQ. I've um, yeah, been with Farm IQ for about six years now um, and the account management, management role is basically sales, so it's selling Farm IQ software as well as helping um, set up any new customers um, and to support them along their Farm IQ journey. And yes, if you need to get in touch, my details are there um, on screen now. Thanks. Cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's a good number of 34 odd people here. So we'll just push on through. And um, yeah, as we said, if you've got any questions, just feel free to post them in the chat in the Q and A section there. Um, you'll also see there's a handout section there, and so there is a downloadable version of the notes that will, or the PowerPoint presentation that we'll have available today. But we'll also email that through to you as well. So yeah, as we go along. Um, yeah, just feel free to um, get in touch via the chat or Q&A and um, we'll kick off. Cool. So what we're going to um, cover tonight is a bit about Farm IQ, um, as well as obviously integrating your business partners with Farm IQ and a variety there, and then focus a little bit on the cool sheet data milk data and NAT integrations, and then we'll follow up um, that with a, a Q&A session. So um, hopefully we'll we'll cover off most things there. Um. Cool. No, no, sounds good. So just a little bit of background about Farm IQ. Um, it's been in operation for coming up 11 years now, and so it was born out of a, a primary growth partnership between Silver Fern Farms, PAMU, and the government um, about 10, 11 years ago. And so this first seven years of existence, it was a PGB program. But since then, the last sort of four years, it's been a full, uh, commercial operation. We have a number of shareholders, and you can see them there on the screen at the moment. So Silver Fern Farms, PAMU, um, Farmlands, Vedent, and MSD have, have all um, taken a shareholdership of Farm IQ. And most recently, and very excitingly for Farm IQ, AgriSearch have come on as, as a shareholder as well. It's just in the last couple of weeks and so they've taken a um a, a, a shareholding in the farm iq and as part of the um deal with that we've also acquired farmax and so it's really exciting for farm iq um to have that um combination and and it'll certainly be one of our future integrations as well but it'll take a little bit of time to, to sink in so um yeah it's some really cool stuff that we've been up to and um what we've been doing um, in terms of the, the company and the shareholding that we've got available at the moment. So a big part of our integrations is, is, is the making sure that it is your data. So it's always the farmer's data. You provide us or the permission, you, you can put permissioned access to, to allow to share your data onto the Farm IQ platform. And so the, the reason for being of Farm IQ is to have all your information in one place, to have that information easily um, seeable that it flows through quite easily and, and interoperable across multiple different systems and so that's the whole reason for being for farm iq to have that information 
in one place and it to be the, the one source of truth. And so it's of ultra importance to us that it is your data. And so then you provide us to have permission to have or see that data on, on the Farm IQ platform for, for the integration partners that we currently have and, and certainly coming up um, in the future, um, getting more and more people on the Farm IQ platform as well for businesses. Um, we do have a range of different partners and, and Lou can go through some of these. Uh, so, yep. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I'm listing off the, some of our integration partners there. Um, we've got some of the, the meat, meat processing companies and, and the milk um, companies as well, um, along with the um, True Test and Gallagher and Tapari um, waste scale systems. Um, and then, of course, um, TrackMap as well to ensure that we have the um, fertiliser and chemical um, data coming through uh, into PharmIQ. Yeah, cool. So why is integration important? And, and, and from your perspective, of course, from the, from the farmer's perspective, it's a really important to have that opportunity to utilize that data. Farming is, in these days, a lot about having data and being able to easily access reports, utilize that data in, in a really functional way. And so a big part of it too is, is to have saving time. So one of, and we'll talk through or show some examples of some of the integrations that Farm IQ has and some of the reporting functionality. So once you have permission that data to share that information on the Farm IQ platform, it just comes through as the reports and syncs across into the system really simply, saves a lot of time. And ultimately, it, it, it can allow you to make better decisions going forward in terms of um, um, what uh, what, what di different um, feed types, what you might want to utilize in terms of the, the kill sheet side of things that we'll talk about here today, or even, even have the milk production information through feeding across into the system. And as Lou mentioned too, one of our bigger integrations too is TrackMap. And so if you've got a contractor that utilizes TrackMap, um, that information can feed automatically across into PharmIQ in terms of chemical or fertilizer applications into the system. So it's um, yeah, some really cool functionality that we do have. And as we go along, folks, we're gonna cover off some of the, the main ones that we do have, but I would be really keen if you've got a chance to flip through into the chat section, some of the, the potential future integrations you think might be of interest to us um, going forward. So yeah, please feel free to chuck some stuff there in the chat or the Q and A and um, Lou and I will dig into that and have a bit of a look at it. So. Yeah, this is what it's all about. And so we've got some main focus areas that we're going to chat through um, this evening. And one of them is around a kill sheet data. Um, since inception of Farm IQ, we've had Silver Fern Farms kill sheet data feeding across into the system. And so um, it's been really good um, for those existing Silver Fern Farm shareholders and, and their suppliers. Some of you may have received an email, but um, we did have a bit of announcement just yesterday that we've announced that ANSCO have also come on board as a um, as a supplier or as an integration partner with Farm IQ. So all their kill sheet information automatically integrates with Farm IQ as well. So that's the two systems that we have here. So we're from Farms and ANSCO. They're our automatic um, integration partners. And so when you send animals to Silver Fern Farms or to ANSCO, um, once they're processed within 48 hours, you'll get um, um, feedback in the system and, and, and shows that that kill sheet information is already fed across. And I'll, I'll show you some of those reports in a second. In addition to that, some of the other processes, Alliance and AFCO, we can do manual integrations. And so if you've got um, CSV files of the kill sheet information that, that you have access to, you can manually upload that into the FarmIQ system. It's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of getting some columns and things um, lined up in the right way. But it's um, that information, once you've got that information as a CSV file, you can automatically upload that into FarmIQ. And I'll show you um, an example of what the reports look like in the system. Um, we've just got a question here, Craig, about um, if someone's asked, what what is kill sheet data? Yep, I can show you that in a second. Good question. Thank you. And... 
that one. So it's carcass performance information, and, and that's what we're talking about here. Um, in terms of this is one of the main reports that we have. So when we say kill sheet data, it, it's the carcass weights, the grades, um, and, and that information that comes through. So for for um, lambs or beef, and I've just got beef here as an example. This example here that you can see is an alliance um, sheet that's been manually uploaded into the system. The report that comes out, you can select the kill dates. And so whatever dates, the, if you selected across the, or how many um, uh, um, trucks or units that you sent away in, in terms of what kill sheets were there, you can select whether it's cattle, sheep or deer depending on what you've slaughtered during the season. And it puts out all the kill sheets that are on there. And so for this example, I've just got all the kill sheets that have loaded into the system from these one, two, three, five different kill sheets across here and carcass type if it's prime beef or, or other beef. And so this is an example of the report that, that, that the information feeds across. And so you can see here, there's boxes across the, the top is just a summary there's 300 carcasses average kill date 10th of december 2020 and that's just based on the on the information that i've requested out of the system average carcass weight the example that i do have here is just um Frisian bulls and so they're all manufacturing beef as you can see but it gives us a, a heat map of, of the um of the weight grades uh, on the for each of those carcasses it shows us the hot carcass grade distribution. This is raw beef, and so it's all just manufacturing beef. But if it was prime steers or heifers, you would get the different fat grades, as you would have across there. And it gives you the hot carcass weight distribution. So the carcass weights across this, um, across here, and then the percentage of carcasses which made it into those different um, weight categories um, in the system. And then down here as well, you've got all the individual animal information. This, of course, is, is cattle, so it comes off the EID. And so in the system too, if you've got um, the, our enterprise functionality software, you, if they're weighed within 48 hours of going to slaughter, we can pull all this information out as well. So the, the, the live weights of animals, but really to make some really important and good um, analysis of, of live weight versus carcass weight for different lines of cattle, different breeds of cattle, perhaps even different suppliers. And, and, and so some of that um, some of that stuff there. Good. Just got a couple of questions there, Craig. Um, oh, there's, I see there's one from Ruin um, asking me if I can help him set up his farms um, with the lead with pride supplies. So yes, definitely. I'll, I'll, I'll make a note of that and I'll, Get in touch tomorrow. Thanks for that. Um, and then also Joy um, is asking about um, GAP audits or GAP audits. Are you familiar with that, Craig? I, I know where you're coming from, Joy, but I'd have to find out about that. I, we're not integrated with that um, per se at the moment, but it'd be certain something um, we're keen to look into, that's for sure. And she's also asking um, about track map. Um, yeah, no, I see that one too. No, not at the moment. Apologies, Joy. We, we there are our current integration is just track map at the moment, and so it is with those contractors that use track map. Um, we don't currently um, have an integration with Ravens and slash Hawkeye, but it's something that certainly should be on the cards, um, perhaps one day. Yeah. So that's just an example of, of a carcass weight report that, that, that can feed out across the system. And as I said, automatically comes across from Silver Fern Farms and ANSCO and manually at the moment, at least, um, for Alliance and AFCO. Um, yeah, so that's just one example. The next one, I suppose, um, for dairy farmers is around the milk production data. And so we can have... We have automated integration with Tatua, Maraka, Sinlay, Open Country and Westlands, and we, and we have manual integration, similarly as what we did have before, available for um, for the um, carcass weights uh, for Fonterra and Oceania dairy. And so um, very similar sort of things apply in, in terms of integrations and the functionality that we have. And so for all of the top five there, 
we can certainly just set up an automatic integration and where you are Ruam, the same sort of thing with the Sinlay Lever Pride Supplier, you'll have daily milk feed information coming out of Sinlay into your farm or into your Sinlay Lever Pride Live account. So um, we can certainly set that up, no worries whatsoever. And I'll show you just a quick example of, of what the information is that comes across. And so this is one of the dashboard reports that we have for FarmIQ. And so um, you can see here in the top left, the milk production and the somatic cell count data comes across for the season to date. And so we can also import historical season production. And so you can see all this information on the dashboard reporting that we've got here. Of course, what FarmIQ wants to try and do and achieve is to have everything in one place. And so you can also record your pasture wedges in FarmIQ. You can also record your covers and, and your health and safety side of things. And so this is a, a, a manipulative way or dashboard. I've just taken this as a screenshot because I don't have any fake data per se of any milk data. So, the, but this is what we're talking about here, where you can have all the information from your suppliers coming into one place and have that available as a dashboard report um, on the Farm IQ platform. And then so, yeah, that's just an example of, of the milk production information that we can pull out of Farm IQ. Um, and I'll let Lou do Nate. Um, just before um, I go into that, um, Russell's asked um, about the integration with SIL. Not heard of that. Sheep Improvement Limited, I suppose that'll be. Yeah, yeah. We don't um, currently. Russell, but I'll um something to look into, that's for sure. Um yes, uh, so the Nate integration, um actually um I can't actually recall when this first um kicked off with PharmaQ, but it's um definitely been in PharmaQ for as long as I remember. Um so yeah, basically um PharmaQ can be your Nate provider to record all cattle and deer activities. So if you make PharmaQ your information provider for Nate, PharmaQ can automatically send transactions to Nate when you record stock movements onto or off the farm. So any sales or purchases you record in PharmaQ allow you to meet your Nate obligations in one easy step. So I suppose, again, it's bringing all that information um, into one place and, and making that um, part of the compliance easier. Yeah, cool. Just Tony having a look at your question there. If I have Minder and my vet has InfoVet, is there anything that PharmIQ adds? Um, quite different systems, I suppose, there, uh, Tony, in, in terms of we don't currently have any integrations with Minder or InfoVet for that matter, but we do have a, a, a common shareholder, I suppose, and VetEnt, so there's potential opportunity there um, one day. But um, no, there would be there wouldn't really be much in terms of the potential um, opportunities for integration um but we would certainly look into and and and, and certainly lic minder is something we would like to um, uh, potentially integrate with one day we do have a have a um, partnership with crv and that we do um crv have might hear it and so it's minder s and, and so we um farm IQ provides a, a might herd for, for crv and it is um, their, their herd management recording system for, for all CRV um, uh, clients, I suppose. Yeah, so it's a um, good opportunity and a good example. Did you see the question there from Renthia Craig? Oh, no, I didn't see. There's three questions, or four <laughs> questions. <laughs> Yeah, so rent, yeah. So Farm IQ is a farm management tool. It's a farm management software. That's 100%. That's what it is. And so one of our our reason for being, like I was saying before, is to have all your information in one place on, on one platform. And so um, certainly a farm management system, you can record, uh, record and report a lot of information directly into Farm IQ yourself, whether it's on the desktop or on the app. But um, one of our biggest strengths is, is our ability to integrate with other partners. And so similarly to, as to what we were saying before around our latest integration that we have released was just yesterday with ANSCO. And so um, 
it actually means that any meat processor in New Zealand will now be able to integrate with um, Farm IQ if they have the um, correct software from their end to, 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 to connect to our um, software as well. So some really cool stuff that the company's been doing um, over the last of the six months and, and going forward, looking to integrate with a lot of other companies as well to make it more simple um, going forward. Is this product? No, sorry, Renthea. It is only available um, in New Zealand at the moment. Integration with John Deere. No, um, I know they are talking to each other, but they're currently um, not available at the moment. And no, there wouldn't be any farmers in South Africa using Farm IQ, um, certainly to my knowledge anyway. A lot of great questions. Yeah. Yeah, it's how many people can you can use the farmer queue on the farm so um joy that's um limitless there's no um cap on users um as as many people as you got on farm can can be using farm iq good question yeah brilliant and and aaron too yeah good question thank you aaron for pointing that out is the pasture data on the dashboard from a third party or is that part of the farm iq software that one there was um, part of the farm iq software so we do have a pasture wedge pasture gross functionality that you can input directly onto your app and into your phone so as with any pasture walk you can add the covers directly as you go around the farm into your phone and then synchronize that and by the time you get back to the shed your pasture wedge is already set up we do have, um, you can manually upload CDX files and so into Farm IQ. So similar as we were talking before with um, with CSFD files, if it's, it's really simple to, to integrate with or to upload them into the system, if, if that's perhaps um, what the third party is. Uh, if you use CDX, you can upload um, those files as CSV files into the system and it'll pull through all the pasture wedge information um yeah 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 that's basically where that's at but um yeah you can do it both ways but again um yeah interested to know more about if there's any other partners that you um good folk think that we should integrate with um please sing out and get in touch That's pretty much us. That's everything that um, we were going to cover off today. And, and we've just shown those sort of quick examples of some of the integrations that we do have. But the future is looking really bright in that regard because we've seen a lot of the um, regulatory messaging and things that are in the system at the moment or in the industry at the moment. And um, we've talked a lot about, you know, as an industry, about um, interoperability and some of the issues and, and, and trying to get some amalgamation across the industry in the agri-tech space. And I'd like to think Farm IQ is doing a pretty good job at that moment, even in just the last couple of weeks where the, um, the you know, the, the potential or there will be the integration with Farmax and, and having ANSCO um, to supply their kill sheet information onto Farm IQ. It's, um, it's pretty major actually to, to have that sort of functionality and um, certainly talking to other suppliers to see if um, they're interested in as well. And it's quite cool. Some of the messaging at the moment um, is that other companies are more willing to engage now to be able to share your information on the Farm IQ platform. So um, a really exciting future um, coming up. Tony, where do you see Halter fitting in? Yeah, great question. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's potential opportunity there. Um, that would be really exciting. Um, uh, yeah, it, it really would be. Um, the great thing about Farm IQ is, is, is we don't have any favourites per se. We, we want to talk with anybody that's in the market. And so um, we are the, the, the neutral body in the country. And so... Um, there's some really exciting opportunities there to have that information um, feeding in as well. That's um, really good. Any other questions, guys? Interested if anyone, yeah, I suppose if anyone was using um, Zero Figured or um, interested in any, any other um, integration similar to that 
yeah. um, currently have uh, cash manager rural integration and then yeah hope, hope to get the um, farm focus um, set up as well in time yeah 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 and, and certainly figured as well um so the, the, the two major players in, in the New Zealand market, and exactly as Lou said, we have a current integration with Cash Manager Rural, but that's their older version of their software. Now they call themselves Farm Focus, and, and, and the teams will be working on to, to um, develop that integration um, in the future and, and figure it as well. It would be another major integration that we'd have set up into the system uh, as well. Um, Joy. Um, yeah, so the, the process of basically um, getting signed up to PharmIQ is um, signing up on our website um, and then basically as soon as you've completed the details there, your farm's created um, and then we'll get a, a map set up um, and then I'll, what, either myself or one of the other account managers will work with you um, to ensure that you get um, your farm set up as you want with your animals and um, the map um, and getting your staff added. Um, and, and just working with you um, through that, um, yeah, via video calls and phone calls. And we've also got an amazing uh, support team um, who are yeah, available on the phone, and email um, to, to help basically support you on your Pharma Q journey. Um, and then I see Rowan's asked if we invite all the team members to use Pharma Q, do they have? to access all the information, for example, employees, salaries, etc. So there's security roles in PharmIQ. So um, if you invite um, different users with different, um, I suppose, um, level of farm access, then it's possible to have restricted access for some users so they're not seeing um, that information. Hopefully that answers your question. And guys, you can see on the system there exactly that though, just as you were speaking, I was just gonna go show what the different levels are. So there's a range of some of the ones here. So farm user for your, your junior farm staff, <coughs> uh, view farm for any consultants and things that you might have, or farm owner, that sort of thing. And so there's, there's farm manager and stock manager as well. So yeah, an example of some of the, the of those different, um, yeah, authorities, I suppose, that, that, that provide different levels of access um, into, into the system. And so this is just an example farm. So, um, Joy, this is what you would see um, um, on the system. So there's, this is just a pretend farm we have on the system that we play around with and use as demonstrations. And so you can see all your paddocks and your mobs and things there. Um, yeah, that's, that's exactly what we can see. So... Yeah, it's just a matter of um, putting things getting getting set up and, and going from there, really. Aaron, yes, this integrations around the um, around the integrations around the actual usage and the reports that we generated. Can we can I meet some? Absolutely, no, hundred um, percent. Certainly get your contact details, Aaron, and, and um, yeah, we can definitely have a chat around what some of the, the other functionality that FarmIQ can provide. And as you said, this one's about the the, um, the integrations that we have with our industry partners and, and your industry partners, more importantly. But yeah, no, 100%. We can certainly um, touch both. This one from... Katrina there, can you have more than one property, home farm and runoff? Yes, most definitely. Um, so um, you can see there with the map, um, you can either put them on both the same map view or you can actually um, switch between twin farms. So if you had um, a worker on the runoff um, and you didn't want them to access the home farm, you could run them separately. Um, and also actually with the Nate um, side of things, um, any... Um, farms that are on separate nates actually we need to have them on separate farm views as well um, otherwise um, the, the nate integrations won't work um, so yes basically to answer your question Katrina yeah cool and Chris can you import shape files absolutely you can Chris yep yep it's 100 percent so if you've got existing shape files out of 
Hawkeye or My Balance or Track Map or, or wherever they are, we can just import them directly into the system and, and get you started. It's um yeah, it, it's um it's it, it's pretty straightforward to get that sort of set up and, and get you set up. And so exactly as Lou was saying before, we work with you to get the map on and then over the next sort of um, there's an account manager and a business manager that would touch base and then set up some Zoom training sessions to get you set up onto the system. So no, all um all pretty straightforward in that regard yeah um, and just to answer sam's question um so we have a, a live demo available so you can um basically book a time with myself or one of the other account managers and we can either team viewer or do a shared screen um and you can have a, and we can talk through i suppose what's um, of interest um and work through it that way Yeah, cool. More and more questions popping up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, cool. No, that sounds great. Thank you, Aaron. Well, um, Tim Orlando Rep is um, our, the, the, the local business manager up that neck of the woods. So I'll, um, I can get that set up and, and get him to touch base. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I've got your details there. I think we'll have them in, the, um, in our um, database as well. So I'll give you a call. Um, tomorrow thank you yeah cool yeah, yeah no no that no, sounds good no um no if that's pretty much everything folks hopefully one more question is here um muhammad's asking can this tool be used in all farm types yeah be sheep beef and dairy would be um the main sort of reasons to have a farm IQ. It's born out of the meat industry or the, the, the animal agriculture industry, I suppose, Mohammed. And so um, in that regard, it's probably our core and our strength, but, but you certainly can. Um, you can record, I'm not too sure what farm type you may be talking about, but we do have some cropping farmers on, on the system that they can record all their land activities. Uh, I'll just, if you're interested, I'll see. Um, what layers are on here i'm not sure cool okay so we've got some layers on here and so yeah so you can record all your your paddock details or your paddock history onto the system um yeah really straightforward to to get all that information in, into the system exactly as i was saying before um the reason for being for farm iq is to have everything in one place and so whether that inf recording that information directly into the system which is our, our main reason for being but for more importantly in the future in particular um integrating with your trusted partners to be able to share that information on the farm iq platform so ideally you don't have to do anything all that information just feeds through in, into farm iq particularly relevant for feps and faps um, if you've got the track map integration set up and, you, and your contract is used track map all your fertilizer history can automatically just feed into the system so a few clicks of a button you can see what your, all your mpks or your fertilizer history is usage on on the property um yeah that's what we're sort of trying to achieve you know in terms of um having that information in one place and integrating with those trusted partners that, that you guys work with um, primarily and to have that information um there available for you to utilize and to report on that's um that's why we're here Anything else there, guys? There's one about um, velvet stag recording for velvet weights. Not at the moment, um, Annette, sorry. No, it, it is um, something that's certainly on the pipeline to have um, made available, but we don't uh, currently at the moment. Susan, do you have any dairy farms? We do, Susan. We've got a good number. Um, we haven't gone into details with it here, but um, we've got quite a good range of different dairy farms on the system um, across the country. Some of our bigger clients are Sinlay suppliers. And so every Sinlay Lead with Pride Live, Lead with Pride supplier, sorry, has Lead with Pride Live. So it's a, a farm IQ um, based software, but it has um, some added Lead with Pride 
farm assurance program functionality with that as well. Um, I work on the upper South Island and I sign and I would have probably um, 20 to 30 odd, I suppose, dairy farms, I suppose, quite a number on the West Coast, uh, a smattering through Canterbury and up through sort of Kaikoura and Marlborough, there's reasonable numbers of dairy farms. Um, as far as let's be honest, the strengths of the wide dairy farmers would use um, farm IQ is around that sort of land management recording, asset maintenance, and, and those sort of things. You know, we're not a mind or equivalent that sort of thing. It, it's um, that's why a lot of that sort of farm environmental planning, farm assurance planning um, information integrations with the milk feed information coming in. You can have all that information in one place, and, and, and that's what we're sort of trying to achieve in that regard. Mohammed, does the tool record any supply chain data? Depends, I suppose, Mohammed. Um, probably really only the, the carcass weights and kill sheet information. Wouldn't it be, Lou? I don't think. Yeah, really. yeah. I was, and I was looking at that question. I was hoping you'd answer it. I wasn't quite sure because um, I would have, yes, picked the supply chain as the kill sheet data. Um, yeah, that would probably be far as we go to be honest um kill sheet information and um, um and, and milk production information but we don't actually go much further than that um at the moment you know again um farm iq was set up as, as a tool for farmers uh, and to, to record their on-farm management activities and um that's yeah that's why we're set up and so um, um to be sort of north of 5,000 farmers that are on the Farm IQ system today um, across New Zealand, and, and, and they utilise that, the, 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 the software to, to record those on-farm management activities and increasingly have the opportunity to integrate um, with our other like-minded companies who want to share their information, share your data um, with us as well. Yeah, that one from. Yeah, good man. Any integration ambitions with Overseer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Definitely not, Aaron. Good question. Great question. Thank you very much. Now, Overseer is is its own um, nutrient modelling software, and so um, it's made. It we'll read sort of headlines in the last few weeks, but it, it'll it'll come back. There's no two ways about that. Well, we will be looking to integrate with. Um, overseer in that regard um, you know, in time. The, the two systems are a bit different um, in terms of how they record stock on farm because um, we record actual stock movements and stock whereas they're sort of monthly averages aren't they and so um, yeah there'd be a very strong um, likely well there will be an integration but I could not give you a timeline when um, that would be made available um, but, but certainly um, yeah, certainly can. Uh, we, we certainly will be uh, one day. But yeah, great question. It, it, it's quite different though in terms of overseer and that nutrient modelling um, side of things. But there'll certainly be an integration one day in the future. And Chris, can you bring in soil nutrient results on soil tests? Absolutely, you can, Chris. Yep. So you can up, you can upload soil tests um, information on for your paddocks or your soil tests, and it just it is a manual thing at the moment, but. Um, you can certainly do that um, fairly straightforward into the system. I'll just have a look. I don't, um, probably not much activity on here. But this is some of the information that, that we can get out of the system. So these are just some stock movements, people recording weighing events, people recording deaths. Some moves, um, post grazing, pre grazing, pasture masses across the across those different paddocks. A big part of it is health treatments, and so we could. Um, a big part of Farm IQ today is around that farm assurance planning and processing, and so you can record all your animal health treatments, all your product inventory, um, onto the system. And so, this is here five mils of abamectin with that batch number on some Angus, 120 Angus bull cows. 
so you can record certainly can record all that information um, into the system and and around um, your I fertilizer if, history and things as well. Um, if we show one of the, like the nutrient one of the nutrient reports, yeah. Craig, questions around that side of it. Yeah, cool. I'm just gonna hopefully I just seen if there's much fertilizer history in this one. But... Yeah, well, look. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. Or the heat map. Yeah. So this is one of our reports, folks, um, nutrient application analysis. And I would just don't know if there's much history in this farm because this is not a real farm per se. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no. no, there's nothing there, so. No, there's not. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm certainly happy to show you what these reports would look like. And so it spits back all your NPKS applied through by the season, by the time, um, by product quantity, and then by paddock as well. So all that system's um, really good uh, in there, but this particular demonstration farm, I don't have any information. So. Yeah, great question, Aaron. It's a really good question. Looking to integrate with any feed company so as to brought in feed can be brought on to the system. And so, yeah, that's a really good question. It's probably, to be fair, something I haven't really thought of. Um, I, think, the, I think that's, that's a, probably a third party access, maybe giving oh, point, direct third party that. access to, <laughs> yeah. to upload that into your product inventory, into your feed. Um, it's the same with um, something that vets can do. Um, and yeah, any any reps like the um, loading in chemicals. Um, so this the data can be you can give them third party access to come in here and upload um, the product into your inventory, whether it's chemicals, um, drench, um, or feed. Um, but yeah, that integration would certainly uh, be pretty cool, um, and, and s s I suppose stop a lot of double entry as well, Aaron. Mm. Yeah, 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 good point. And so on the screen here, Aaron, you can see that um, we, we do have a, a feed inventory that you can record. It's a hay, grain, meal, um, processing or spuds or, or corn or something, silage and straw. And so you can record that feed product inventory here on the system. So there's some baleage um, that's on here. So there's been a number of cuts that have been cut off the farm that's the location above house or what's the paddock they were cut from what the me was how much was on there and and then you can load that information as a as a feeding event as well so you can feed that information back out to your stock as well so um it's a really good information there um in terms of baleage and there's also 20 ton of palm kernel and so bought and feed uh, yeah great point lou um Fairly, real, really straightforward to set up third party access with um, any of the vets or, or feed merchants that you have and they can put this information for you um, yeah that's a really good point so yeah as Craig was saying yeah, basically as, as you're feeding that out and recording um, that, that feed event it then automatically deducts from your inventory of feed here and so it keeps a running tally of, of what you've got on farm Might be just yeah. about done, are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, yeah, no, no, that's that's really good, folks. Um, thank you for taking part, and and, and certainly um, for great questions. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. No, 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 that sounds good. Um, A few people to follow up with there that um that we'll contact tomorrow and. Um, yeah, if anyone else has got any questions, do you want to put our slide back up, Craig, so yeah. with our contact details? Definitely. Just if anyone else wants to get in touch. No. There you go, guys. And so, no, um, certainly feel free to um, get in touch anytime that suits. 
um, yeah, as I said, if there's anyone on the Upper South, more than happy to, to catch up and have a cup of tea. And But um, feel free to email myself or Lou or give the support team uh, a call, 0800 Farm IQ, and um, yeah, love to um, keep in touch and, and go from there. Um, yeah, from my perspective, thanks for taking the time. It's a really busy time of year, of course. Um, really great attendance. It's awesome to see um, a lot of interest. And so... Um, yeah, really greatly appreciated for taking the time and, and, and listening to myself and Lou talk about what um, Farm IQ up, are up to today and, and some of the things we're looking forward to doing. And, um, yeah, Lou, any last words? Yeah, no, just uh, yeah, thanks for <clears throat> taking the evening out to come and listen to us and, and ask the questions. We've got a really great, great panel of questions. So thank you, everyone. That's awesome. Have a good evening. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And, and by all means, have a look at the website and um, feel free to get in touch anytime it suits. Great. Cool. Thanks, guys. Catch you later. Yes. See ya.